What's up everyone, Lethal Concept here and I'm here to talk about the Human Juggernaut, the play styles, how you should build him and what works for him and I'm going to have some videos of the three main play styles that I've theorized for him on Platinum soon on this channel. So there'll be three main play styles that I've thought of. The first one is a play style that you've already kind of seen on my channel. It's the Dempsey Roll play style with the Scorpion with the Saria Huntress, this time with the Human Juggernaut. And the reason why this can work with the human juggernaut is a couple of things so first off he has apex training one of the strongest weapon damage increasing boosting passives that's a mouthful so basically you pick up weapon as a much weapon damage as you would can add in apex training for your scorpion and then you pick up all of the defensive you don't need you're not doing melee so you pick up the regeneration and then you actually pick up evasion here and then fall off time and the reason why you do this is I feel that 1.5 second invulnerability after I kill it, it feels very short whereas an extra 3 seconds on the passive time before bonus falls off it becomes 6 seconds obviously because plus 100% then you get a lot of damage resistance and this is along with the evasion so if you didn't know the human juggernaut has an innate plus 100 damage resistance while evading this goes up to 200 damage resistance while evading and this then stacks up to the 50 damage resistance you get from your remnant armor and then you have fortify and this goes up to about 70 I think just 70 base yeah 70 damage resistance while evading and then you got explosive purge and what you can do is this place I was I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it in a couple of platinum videos, as I said. But this playstyle play style seems very fun. So you dash around, and you have over 300 damage resistance. So you got 100 from your dodge, 200 from the evasion, plus 100% damage resistance while evading. Then you got your 50 from your damage resistance of your just your base remnant armor. Then you got another 70 on fortify, and so you got 300 damage resistance over 300 while evading. Now, if you run into a heavy heavy resistance at melee, say like two berserkers, you got explosive purge, so you do dodge into them, explosive purge, and then you got a lot of damage with your plus 28% weapon damage of the scorpion, and obviously you'll be picking up an extra pistol amp or an universal damage amp, so they'll be really strong. And then when they're stunned from fortify, you can snap freeze them, so this is going to be basically my third build for that Dempsey roll playstyle. And everything for anything else that's unarmored, you got a shockwave that still has a bit of force and that can stagger them. So unfortunately, you can't max this out obviously because you can only max out four out of your five powers. But it's still useful for mass staggering those kind of base units, so sharpshooters, raiders, dogs, and then you also still got fortify for long range. I'm thinking. I can't actually click out, because if I click out, it'll ask me to confirm my skill points. But if I had to pick something, maybe a Vanquisher or something that can really take advantage of hitting those critical weak spots, like a Yusha Vanquisher. I'm not sure about the weight, because I haven't checked it yet. See, if I click out, it'll ask me to confirm. So I'll just click cancel. So something that can actually do extra multiply damage on critical weak spots, because once again, Scorpion, you can't actually get those times 2 or times 1.5 multipliers on critical weak spots. But that's like the Dempsey roll build that, I'll try, that I'm thinking of trying. Now another thing that you t they have that you should or I'm thinking about trying out is because we don't need accuracy and stability in the power armor because Scorpion doesn't require that or you're not doing melee damage, you pick up shield feedback which gives you shield regeneration and health and shield reduction delay. And then you've got shield regeneration here. The health and shield reduction d delay is here as well. And then there's a equipment that gives plus 100% shield reduction delay. So then you've got a lot of shield re shield reduction delay, basically meaning your shield recharges more frequently in between fights. You've got topping up of health with Scorpion Siphon. And then you've got just a boatload of damage reduction. So I think this could be a very strong playstyle. I haven't tested it yet. I will test it out and I will post up videos of each of the playstyles on my channel later on. And then... After undo changes, there we go. Now the second playstyle is kind of like a combo playstyle. So it will basically be something like this. Powered armor for that melee damage buff. Ramping defense. 
and invulnerability. This is the key thing from the uh, combo. So basically, I want to find a combo that um, I don't need radius, but actually I might pick up. It, it, this between rank four and five, I'm not quite sure, but definitely lifting and definitely reach. I'm not quite sure of those yet. So I will use four to five for protection, melee damage bonus, and explosive purge, and snap freeze. Obviously, well, you, snap freeze is pretty much the same. Reach, brittle, anti armor. So I'm looking for those points. But basically, this is a focus on trying to combo your powers to the effect that you can actually one shot any mook that you can see so that you can quickly chain 1.5 seconds of invulnerability. So what I'm thinking of is with 4 to 5 because power armor gives extra melee damage this character is a gold character so you can quickly get up those veteran bonuses I've almost got a max so you get those extra power damage, combo damage and melee damage which is huge for platinum and then obviously with your ramping up armor of remnant armor with the extra melee damage bonus, this will, this will be I think 100% from the uh, plus 50%, uh, it does actually say here, plus 50% melee damage buff and then melee damage buff 50%, so and then you got melee equipment like juggernaut shields and then you got shotguns with the melee, the middle melee mods that give an extra 32% melee damage increase and then you obviously got strength and hearts are consumables, so basically you do run in, fortify shockwave and then detonate, do a couple of shots with your shotgun, I'm thinking scatter shots so you don't have to reload, and then melee them for that finishing blow. And this should be in a span of about maybe half a second on each combo, and then that should proc your 1.5 second invulnerability, and because you're using abilities that stagger or stun, for example, snap freeze will freeze everything, Fortify stun will stun everything obviously and shockwave will also displace or lift up anything that's unshielded and also do a stagger as well So you've got a lot of like CC effects that you still quite tanky as well cause remnant armor and fortify So this will help in between the transitions where if you don't have the invulnerability uptime that kind of defense that you have will keep in play will keep you alive until you can actually get a kill That's the playstyle Second there, it's a combo, try and proc the 1.5 seconds in between kills frequently. Excuse me. And the other playstyle, the third one that I'm going to be trying out, is just a standard shooter. So basically, with Shockwave, I'm, I haven't decided whether to match out Shockwave or Apex Training, but it's a standard shooter, kind of, sh standard shooting, standard shooter playstyle, so basically, in my ex personal experience, I feel that the 1.5 second invulnerability doesn't match up to the maximum, effici maximum efficiency of the remnant armor. This changes the 3 second, which is really short, to a 6 seconds, which is really... It feels really comfortable at 6 seconds. You're not going to be missing out on kills or doing a bit of damage to keep up your damage resistance, melee damage, and movement speed buff of your remnant armor, whereas at 1.5 seconds it feels very short, especially on Platinum where you're trying to hunker down in between kills, so that 1.5 seconds doesn't feel very impactful, so I want to try just a standard shooter, heavy hitter kind of playstyle, so I probably won't pick up Apex Training at one point maybe, because Shockwave with lifting Shockwave is a lot of CC, it's very useful, and I'm probably going to pick up Expert Package, so that I can maximize the amount of times I can use snap freeze and shockwave in in a match basically and then I'll probably use something like maybe an equalizer or hurricane now one bad thing about this build is that I can't actually do a tech combo which is one of the big big or one of the highlights of a combo in Mass Effect Andromeda tech combo stuns stuns area in an area it's very useful but if I do that I can't take advantage of snap freeze unless I switch weapons which obviously takes a bit of time you're not doing damage if you're switching weapons so I haven't decided if I want to use disrupt ammo for shockwave and then obviously if I find an armor target snap freeze and then switch weapons I haven't decided yet but that's kind of the playstyle that I want to do on my third one so a quick overview to end this video to try and make it short and not bore you guys first playstyle Dempsey roll with um, the shield the let's actually just cancel no let's actually just go into the equipment so first playstyle Dempsey roll 
with Scorpion, I think it's multi-capacitor. Yep, increases shield delay reduction by 100%. You got those extra two shield delay reductions and health delay reductions on your pa on, I think, Fortify and Remnant Armor, so it gives you a lot of regeneration between fights. You do, you got a huge amount of damage reduction while dodging. So basically, that's first place or second place. I was trying to combo for that 1.5 second invulnerability time. See how that works on Platinum. Third place, I was just a standard shooter to see how well I do tanking and dealing damage with that actual six second fall off time for that Remnant Armor. Anyways, the Three, those three videos will hopefully be coming out and if I can find platinum matches for them. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!